Hey, what's up guys? I just have a really quick tip for you today if you are using the physical sky object. A lot of people don't know about this option on here, but it does add a lot to your scene. So I have this scene set up. It has a little bit of subsurface scattering, looks really nice, but it looks pretty contrasty. And um, I want it to be a little bit more realistic with a bit of haze in the background. If you're using the physical sky object, a lot of people just uh, go with the default sky object. They might go into sky or sun and play around. But if you go back to the basic tab on here, we actually have a bunch of options that are unchecked by default. You can add atmosphere, clouds, fog, rainbow. There's a bunch of stuff you can play with as well as loading your uh, different preset skies. So simply by ticking on atmosphere, or fog, you'll get these uh, new tabs on here for um, that specific feature. So right now we have this atmosphere tab and we can play around with the intensity. Um, you can play around with um, how it fades out and then also some color correcting type stuff. But let me just do a render quick at 50% intensity and we'll see what that looks like. So there is the updated render and you can see that we have a little bit more depth to the scene. It's a little bit moodier and hazier. So let's check out these renders that I made just to A-B test this. Here you can see before, uh, this is with no atmosphere turned on and then this is with 50% uh, atmosphere on and then this is with 100% intensity. So you can see that um, just a little bit, 50%, it's gonna add a really nice haze to your scene. It looks a little bit more realistic, a little bit more moody just a little bit more interesting than without it. So I would definitely play around with maybe adding some atmosphere. Um, it's physically accurate, so it fits into your scene perfectly. You don't have to composite it in, and it looks really nice. So I hope that helps you guys out. Go ahead and have a play around with that. And thank you as always for checking out the Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time.